Right, my interlock um, emergency release cable handle is broken uh, and I need to replace it. It's found, this basically disconnects the, uh, manually disconnects the vehicle from park and puts it into neutral to allow for recovery and towing. So to get to it, basically, that's the cup holder in the centre console. You can just lift that out. I've already loosened mine. It's just held on with two clips at the back. That's the front. And there's the handle. This is what you put. You, you basically pull up to put it into neutral. You turn this anti-clockwise, and then you just pull it. But to uh, see, someone basically has just must have just yanked that up, and it's left part of the handle inside, and uh, made it so it's not really operational. So I've got to do what I've got to do is take this. I'm going to take this um, console out first of all. Right, there are two uh, positive screws, one here and one here uh, on top of this plate. Taken those two screws out and placed them carefully in the cup holder so I don't lose them. And then there's this plate here, which seems just to flip up. Taken that plate out. Right, that lo metal loop there is the emergency handbrake, handbrake uh, release so that uh, if the handbrake locks on, uh, etc., you can um, get a uh, an iron rod, I think it's the, uh, uh, the the handle from the jack, you can put that through and yank it sharply upwards and that will release the parking brake. I'm told that uh, once those two screws are out, all this just basically lifts up and pulls back and you can just remove it and you don't have to undo any cables. So we'll see if that happens. I've just got to lift this up first to uh, uh, to get this up. Right, getting this top console out um, did actually uh, give me a few bit of kit, a few kittens. Um, anyway, um, what there is, there are six. Um, after you undo these two um, two uh, screws here and take that plate off, there are six points where it's actually held. Um, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. And you basically have to prise them up very gently, and then all of a sudden it just pops up like that. And you can just pop it up, and just wiggle it, pull it out, and then twist it to the side, and it gives you full access to underneath. And uh, there is um, uh, a cloth uh, like a, a pad to go in there which I've just taken out um, so and I've got access to replace this I'm just going to find out where it goes through the the hole there and uh, see where it leads to and uh, in fact there's the grippers one there one just there they're just in there they're just in yellow there and then there's two on the top one there and one there This is the cable that's uh, the other end of the cable coming from the, uh, the cockpit and it goes up here. If I just move the camera you can just see where it's coming from. It comes there, comes down here and uh, that's the connection there. So that's the connection basically it's clipped into onto this piece of metal here with some plastic clips and then it's clipped up so clipped onto that and goes back up here right up here just behind here and if you can just see it's that's the uh, that's the uh, the connection into the cockpit so basically it's got to und I've got to unclip this squeeze this pull it out pull the whole thing out put the new one in clip it in and put it back Hopefully i don't think okay. it's essential but what i've done is i've uh, tied some string to the other end of this um so that when i pull it through i can tie the string to the new one and then just pull it through to, to the same route but it's, it seems as like there's plenty of space there but i'm just going to try and make it easier for myself looking on the new one there's a uh, looks like there's a couple of clips one there and one there and so it looks to lock it in it's going anti-clockwise and so to unlock it you're probably looking to go clockwise and then lift out 
what I've done is I've, I've pulled this uh, sound insulation away because the, the edge of this was trapped right in here. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to make a tool just to grab hold of this and uh, twist it clockwise and see if I can release Made it. Give myself a little fitting to just uh, go on the uh, uh, the, uh, the the piece. It's just a bit of scrap metal, a couple of grooves cut into it, and I just welded a, a bolt through it. So. I'm just going to put it on there like that and uh, use the bolt to, uh, to turn it clockwise. Jobs are good and released very, very easily. So just pull that out now and uh, thread the new one in if I can. And there's my string tied to it. <laughs>